Hey, this is Alan Lepresti. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm going to go through how I've got the SSL 360 running on my Mac. Um, I've got an M1 running Ventura 13.5.2. The version of Logic is 10.8.1. So let's just kind of go through. I installed 360 and the um, the actual, you know, the individual channel strips come up, comes up fine. The 360 comes up fine. Uh, there seems to be you know, the buttons that are on the UC1 were all work fine, but I, I don't have any MTC, so this is what I did to get that back. Uh, let's first go here. Let me assign logic. Logic. Okay, so that's set. And still nothing. All right, now what I'm going to do is go to the... Turn this off. Let's go to uh, settings, MIDI. I want to verify to make sure my inputs are all there. Uh, looks like they are. <clears throat> a lot of these are just the, the virtual MIDI ports that's programmed into uh, the software. Let's go to Control Surface. This is where you want to click on the setup. My old iMac, where I first started using 360, I noticed that it populated the Mackie control, and it did four instances. It did one as a controller and then three extenders. So I decided to just program them in manually. So how you do that is go new, install, and I'm going to choose the exact same ones that are in my other iMac. And it is, this is the main control unit. I click add, and then I have to change a few things. The first thing is you've got to say port one, say port one here. They both have to say port one. The next change is um, we need to come down to, well, I changed this to Sempty. You could, change, you could leave it to Beats, but I put mine to Sempty. You have to go down to this uh, fader, fader bank for tracks view. That was defaulting to 32. Other than that, everything that's on this screen looks pretty similar to what was on my iMac. Now, I need to add three instances of the extender or the expander or whatever you want to call it install well here it's extender so that's what it was and it was that icon not this one but that one add this uh, say okay then the next step is you got to go back in here and change this to destination 2 and then uh, source number 2 so again just change it to destination 2 source 2 and then the only other change is fader bank offset this one was set to 8, which makes sense because I think on the, uh, I believe it's called UF1, you've got a couple banks you can toggle, and it's on, you know, banks of 8. So I'm going to add uh, two more of these. And don't click the scan button. If you do, it'll take your, you just have to do it again. Um, I did that by mistake. All right, let's just uh, bring this window open a little bit. And uh, again, change this to, you want to go to the third one, go to three, and then make this one 16, and then add one more. I don't know how necessary it is to add these, but I'm just setting it up exactly the way my other system was set up. And um, I haven't tried not installing these so for all I know it, it could work just fine and this is 24 okay I click this down this should all magically appear now so let's launch 360 and there it is turn that off if I hit the play button it should play which it is stop rewind stop fast forward Stop. So it looks like it all works. Okay, well, that's it, really. At this point, have a great day. Thanks for watching. And if you like these videos, hit the subscription button. I know I'll be doing more of these. So thanks for watching, and uh, see you later.